Um, so somebody asked a question or uh, contacted me. I don't even remember where, who it was or where it was, but they, they sort of said there was this op amp tester and if I could design, I don't know, they were offering me some money to design a certain thing. And I thought, well, that's silly. Um, and I think this is the, um, the circuit they were talking about. Uh, this one's in Elector Magazine. This is uh, February 22nd of 2024, I guess. Um, and here is their circuit. So it's an it's an op-amp circuit. It can test type 2 and type 3, <laughs> which is a, a dual and a quad. I don't know, type 2 and type... Anyway, it's a dual and a quad. And then there's a little circuit over at the beginning here that just flashes. It just, it's just a square wave oscillator and um they drive the op amps off of two nine volt batteries a plus nine volt battery and a minus nine volt battery yeah you can buy minus nine volt batteries at the store um so anyway they uh, i wasn't really pleased with how this was done and um so i thought well that's a cute little project maybe i'll just do that for fun and i had an idea and I wanted to teach about virtual grounds, and I thought this would be a great way to introduce virtual grounds if I haven't already. I, I may have touched on it before, but I, uh, it, it, it's an idea. So let's take a look at my design. All right, so here's mine. It looks very, very similar. Um, I sort of like the idea of the um, testing the op amps both in the plus direction and the minus direction as kind of a totem pole output. And you want to test whether it can pull up and pull down, I guess. Um, and they use these uh, LEDs in backwards so you can watch it go plus and you can watch it go minus. Um, and then up at the top here uh, is a um, oscillator. So this is a simple, a simple oscillator. And you can choose whatever components you want here. Oh, one microfarad and a hundred K. I think eventually I used different components because that's what I had on hand. But you can pick whatever you want, whatever frequency you want to oscillate this thing at. Then I thought, okay, I don't want it to go rail to rail. I want it to go sub rail to rail. So I put in a voltage divider here, and you can you can obviously change this if you want for different voltages coming out of the thing. And um, so let's take a look at the power supply, though. That's kind of interesting. So uh, I have it set up so that you can put a battery on the input. So let's say you have a 12-volt battery coming in. And um, you supply the uh, op amp with uh, the plus battery and the negative battery. All right. So that's what the op amp's measuring. But you want to have a center ground. So... <laughs> You know, it's one of the problems in electronics is we call things ground. We really shouldn't call things ground. We should call them return paths. And the only thing we should call ground is earth ground. But it's just the way things are done. So we just have to go along for the ride. So um, whatever you want to call ground, you can call ground. It can be any voltage at all. It can just be called ground. So I know it's kind of a strange concept. So let's take a look at what I've done here. I've taken the input, okay, say 9 to 30 volt input, and I've divided it in half. So I have a 47K and a 47K. So I have half the halfway voltage here. And then I run it into a follower, a, a buffer uh, op amp. And now I'm going to call the output of that um, op amp ground. So I'm calling it VG. So I have VP, V plus, VN, V minus, V negative, and then VG, V ground. Um, so, you know, what is zero volts? What is ground? What, yeah, it's, it's up to your interpretation, but basically we have one voltage, a voltage in the middle and a voltage below it. And, uh, those are, uh, plus and minus for the op amps and a ground. So that's what that is. So this is the idea of the virtual ground. And you will see this in a lot of battery powered, uh, circuits where there is really no plus and minus, um, power supply to be had. Um, you can also think of this as a, um, a center tap transformer where, you know, whatever you want to call ground, you get to call ground. If you, wherever you attach your ground, you, you get to call it that, but really it's just a return path. All right. So where do I use the virtual ground? Well, I use the virtual ground on these LEDs 
right? So the LEDs are going to take some current. So there's going to be quite a bit of current in this virtual ground. And so that's why you have this op amp that's able to sync sink the uh, sink the ground or source the ground actually cuz this the op amps are going above above the virtual ground and below the virtual ground so this op amp has to both sink and source okay so that's what it is it's a very simple little circuit um we have each op amp the uh, square wave comes into the uh, non inverting input of the op amp and then it's just a unity buffer if you wanted to change this you could put some gain in here and check it for gain but i don't think that's really necessary this this board is just to check is the op amp dead or not did you fry it or not right that's the kind of thing oops did i over voltage it is it actually still functioning as an op amp <laughs> and i think this does that just fine and again it tests dual op amps and it tests um it tests quad op amps and I've got 1K loads on the resistors. Yeah, there you go. So uh, let's lay it out. All right. Well, uh, this is the layout. I have decided to use the surface mount components to make it tiny. And a lot of people are telling me, oh, don't make those stupid through hole boards. You know, surface mount much easier to work with. Well, in some people's minds, it's easier to work with. In other people's minds, it's not. But certainly as we move forward, it'll be more and more surface mount. So, um, this one is surface mount, except for the except for the op amp you're testing, right? Uh, you could put sockets on these for SO8s and SO14s and test surface mount parts, but uh, this is all uh, dip socketed. All right, so let me turn off the uh, pop copper for copper board here. So here's the input. Uh, this is where the voltage comes in, and there's it gets divided by two here. This op amp acts both as the buffer for the virtual ground and the oscillator for the square wave. Uh, the voltage divider is these two resistors here, and then everybody else is just uh, a resistor and two, two diodes. Uh, so yeah, there you go. We'll put the copper back on. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's... Uh, Look at it in 3D here, view 3D viewer. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's see here. Ooh, 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 look at that. <laughs> really cool. I do like the 3D viewer, that's pretty cool. And on the back side, it is M side dog approved. <laughs> so there you go. So now all we need to do is send these out. It should be a real cheap board because it's small. And so we'll send it out and uh, get it made.